my lovely, lovely imps. Today, we're gonna talk about something that I feel should be kind of obvious, but maybe isn't. And so I feel like talking about it is somewhat important. And what we are going to be talking about is the situation involving uh, a two YouTube content creators, one by the name of S -S -S Sniper Wolf, and the other one being named Jax Films, okay? Um, these are two very, very large YouTube, and um, actually, a, S -S -S Sniper Wolf is like a multi platform creator. Sniper Wolf has like a big presence on, um, on Instagram and beyond. Um, I think also on TikTok, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, something pretty major happened um, in the last week. And I feel like it's important to sort of just take a moment and talk about the basics of it. So uh, let me just bring up uh, the thread um, uh, that, that talks about exactly what went down. So here is uh, Jax Films on Twitter. I have no ill intentions. S -s -s Sniper Wolf, you showed up to our home tonight and filmed it for your five plus million Instagram followers to see. That is called doxing. The harassing you claim I've been doing is documenting recent examples of you stealing creators' content, stealing jokes, and failing to provide transformative commentary. Obviously, it struck a nerve, but wow, doxing me was not on my bingo card. There is no reality in which you are in the right here. And now, and what we have pictured here is an Instagram story where S -S -S Sniper Wolf uh, says, this creep has been harassing me for months, then plays the victim saying I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. And that is replying to Jack's film saying, Sniper Wolf just doxed me on her Instagram. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. YouTube demonetize this dangerous creator or get her off your platform. She posted an Instagram story right outside our home and then deleted it. Okay. Pretty, pretty loud opener, right? Pretty loud opener. Okay, so what happened? Um, a couple of weeks ago, um, Jax Films made a video uh, that was criticizing S -S Sniper Wolf. Um, and uh, this video is not the first video that has criticized Sniper Wolf. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna say Sissa Sniper Wolf anymore. That was a funny joke, but I'll stop now. Um, <laughs> I realize that's going to get bulky. <laughs> um, but Sniper Wolf uh, has been criticized by a number of creators uh, for quote unquote stealing content. Now, um, in my personal opinion, from what I've seen of Sniper Wolf's content, I think that it's uh, fair to say that. Um, that's my opinion. Other people might disagree. Um, Sniper Wolf was not the only person criticized uh, of this because, of course, as many of you will know, in, in the last, like, two months, uh, XQC, one of the biggest streamers in the world, was also accused of doing the same thing on numerous occasions. And, in fact, it led to a really embarrassing debate between XQC and the hosts of the H3 podcast, uh, Ethan. Uh, and, oh, I always forget his producer's name. My apologies. Um, uh, yeah, Ethan Klein. Um, and his producer was part of the debate as well. Um, Dan, his producer, Dan. Um, so in my opinion, I think that the people criticizing Sniper Wolf are doing so fairly. And when they say stealing content, what they mean is uh, what, I, what, what we have talked about on this channel multi, multiple times before, which is very lazy React content. Now, as you guys all know, I love react content i do react content and i love watching some react content but the fact of the matter is that react content is a very very broad type of content 
and some of it is undeniably just very very bad and i would say is tantamount to uh content stealing so one thing that you guys will notice if you watch any of my react segments through the entire almost four years that i've been streaming is that not only do i go out of the way to credit whatever i'm reacting to but also um we have a rule in this community which is called imps raid with love my fans of course for those who are new to my videos uh are my imps uh and imps raid with love which means that whenever we finish a video i always encourage my imps to go over press like on the video and comment on the video with some support ideally with some love uh from the community love from demon mama and the imps etc etc and this is a rule that we've had in place explicitly for a number of years and additionally, whenever I do React content, I always plan my React content with the intention of spending a lot of time adding my own commentary, my own reaction to that content. Most of my React content is... All, sometimes people even roast me a little bit for it, okay? Because I add a lot of extra runtime to whatever I'm watching because I stop to give my thoughts, to to counter, to, to offer counterpoints, to uh, think about it, to talk about it with my chat. I try to create always a transformative experience, but not all creators do this. And some creators go so far um, in in their react content that it's hard uh, it's hard to not categorize it as content stealing so to come back to the issue that we're talking about in this particular segment sniper wolf um, has been accused on multiple occasions I believe fairly credibly um, with stealing content and what that basically means is taking a popular video that's doing very well um, or uh, uh, on YouTube a video that has a good likelihood of entertaining people um, putting it on on your live stream and then basically adding nothing to it whether you're not reacting uh, whether you uh, don't have much to say whether you don't give credit but or, or anything like that basically all of these things leading to a reaction that is less of a reaction and more of just a rebroadcast um, a technically legal rebroadcast and actually it's funny because there has been um, there has been some actual court cases about this uh, particular uh, uh, type of content. Although it's not completely hammered out in law, um, the existing court cases on it rule that it has to be transformative or else you are just content stealing. There have been examples of, um, uh, so not, I, I'm not sure about, at least personally, I haven't seen an example of Sniper Wolf. If people have a video, I'm more than willing to take a look at it. But personally, I haven't seen an example of Sniper Wolf, like just having an empty seat while a video is playing. However, other creators have been accused of this. Um, XQC has on multiple occasions literally gotten up to go make and eat lunch and left somebody else's video on with just in the corner of the, a camera of an empty chair. Um, no actual reaction going on um, uh, while he goes and does something else and somebody else's video entertains his audience. And uh, most egregiously, sometimes during this, you will see... Um, you will see uh, uh, um, donations flooding in to the at this time, presumably um, for whatever is entertaining them on the screen at the moment, which it does not belong to and was not created by someone like XQC or Sniper Wolf. Semi Locon says sometimes she has been uh, criticized for putting up TikToks in the videos without even having a React cam on. That is terrible. That is really terrible. You see, that's the type of thing um, that is just, oof, that is just terrible. Um, just like putting up a video with no credit, not even having your camera on at the time, that's actually even worse than an empty chair, I won't lie. That is just raw, um, uh, uh, raw stealing, okay? So 
Um, Jax Films is one of the people who has recently collected examples of Sniper Wolf um, sort of stealing content. And as a result of this, um, Sniper Wolf showed up at Jax Films' house on an Instagram Live. Now, this Instagram Live is now deleted, deleted, but it has been heavily documented and cross-referenced. This did happen. This was not made up. And five million, uh, uh, it was br it was sent out to five million people uh, who follow Sniper Wolf's uh, Instagram. Now. I haven't been able to see the actual viewership metrics, so we don't know how many people actually saw the docs. But this was a video, and I saw a part. I saw a portion of this video before it was taken down. Obviously, it had the actual docs chopped out, and it was Sniper Wolf sitting in in uh, in her car, more or less, uh, just talking about this and going, "Hey, look, here's where we are," showing the entire front of the house with the address, saying where they were located, and being like, "Oh yeah, that's um that's." Jack's Films House. And it was shocking. Um, really, really bad. Okay. Now, uh, since then, there has been essentially no real accountability taken whatsoever. Sniper Wolf has been basically joke, like shrugging it off, joking about it, um, trying to downplay it. Uh, and Sniper Wolf's fans have also been engaging in that quite a lot on social media. There's not much more uh, analysis to really be done uh, in this particular conversation because it was just so blatantly a doxing. Um, Sniper Wolf just took her camera and showed the front of Jack's film's house um, and said, this is Jack's film's house. Ha ha. Uh, he should come talk to me. Ha ha. And uh, that's really bad. Okay? It's really bad. And I want to explain some of the reasons why doxing is such a big deal for content creators, especially large content creators. Um, um, so, uh, if you are a content creator, um, one of the hardest things, um, to do in this type of job where you are a quote unquote public figure, and when I say public figure, I'm using that very loosely because uh, there are many types of public figures. Some people just make funny, goofy meme videos, and other people are like a journalist who has like a, um, you know, who have basically a responsibility to report things in an accurate manner. But a lot of people are just making goofy and fun videos. They're not necessarily doing anything um, that requires them to have like an incredible amount of scrutiny placed on them. Um, so I, like I said, I'm using that term fairly broadly. When you're a public figure, um, it is very difficult to maintain any level of privacy, okay? Um, and this is something that I am way smaller than Jax Films. I am way, just for record, let's take a look at how many followers Jax Films has on YouTube. On YouTube, Jax Films has 4.91 million subscribers. That is wild. That is, is wild, okay? So he has a lot of subscribers, okay? And I have, for record, at the moment of the creation of this video, uh, just about tw uh, 28,000 followers. So I'm a tiny little bug. I'm a little tiny ladybug compared to Jack's films. And even I um, have had a number of people throughout my career um, disgustingly invade my privacy. Um, or or attempt to. At one point, uh, there were people online who were trying to find um, my like where I used to live, where I went to school. Um, there have been people trying to stalk my partner's uh, 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 
you know, private accounts who they only appear as like, hi, they come on and bring me some food or a drink or say hello or make a joke or whatever. Um, and I'm not even that big, okay? So privacy is a very, very difficult thing to have when you're a content creator, all right? And keep in mind that most content creators aren't like, um, they're not like, uh, you know, shakers and movers of the entire world, okay? Let's just be real. They're not even like, they're not even on the level of like a lot of local politicians. Um, some, perhaps you could argue, are. There are some uh, content creators who have a huge impact on society, but most, most of them are just making things that they're passionate about. Um, and... Uh, having your house be made public is genuinely terrifying. Um, it is, uh, it is a, a super terrifying and uncomfortable thing, okay? In this job, you already feel like people are watching you all the time. And the truth is, they are. Whenever I'm off doing my own life, I know not only are there people watching my videos, but there are people reacting and commenting on those videos. When there, you know, when I go out to get lunch, I will come back and there will be more comments on my videos. And some of them are really deranged, okay? Some of them are really crazy. Um, Lately, I've been getting a surge of really, really, really unhinged comments on my videos um, that are like, like violent and stalkery in nature. Um, those are hard to deal with, okay? Um, they're really, really difficult to deal with and they can give you a sensation that you are always being watched and that at any moment, e and. And that's not always a good one, you know? It's cool to think about the idea that there are people who are excited about my content who wanna watch it all the time. That's cool to think about. It's cool to go, wow, I've made something that's very entertaining to people, so there are people tuning in to check out my stuff. And it's a totally different emotion to go, oh my God, there are people who've convinced themselves that I'm a literal villain and they want to find me. That is very upsetting, okay? And it's something I, even with a, as a small channel, have had to deal with. I cannot even imagine how terrifying it would be to have, um, when you have a fan base of four, almost five million people, the sheer number of people that that, that, that exposes you to, um, and the, uh, the number of deranged people who might be hiding out in that audience, um, not to mention when another creator with a five million uh, audience then directly exposes your address to them in a hostile manner. That is terrifying, okay? And it's terrifying not only because it's you, but it's because you and all your loved ones and your, your, your pets, if you have them, your ability to like lay down knowing that there could be somebody just sitting outside watching you, waiting. And that's already bad enough when you haven't been explicitly doxxed, when you now know that millions of people potentially have seen where your house is, exactly where it is, where they can literally just type it in on Google Maps and go to your house, and they will know that that is where you are eating, sleeping, and going to the bathroom. That is very, very upsetting. There was a period of time in which uh, I had to constantly monitor the internet for my docs, okay? There was a period where that was a part of my life. And not only was it really upsetting to me, it was extremely upsetting to my partners, who um, even if you don't like what I do, um, they are my partners. They don't like create the show with me. They're just connected to me as a person beyond my show. And um, I just wanted to take a moment to just say how sickening and disgusting and inappropriate this is. Um, and I do tend to be uh, on the side of saying that uh, YouTube needs to take action here. Um, even if it was done, technically uh, the infraction was done on Instagram and not on YouTube, 
but YouTube has been made aware that one of their creators, one of their verified creators, has done this to another verified creator, and it's and and I believe that not taking action there uh, shows that the platform is unwilling to protect its contributors. Jax Films again is a a five almost five million subscriber channel who has undoubtedly, undeniably contributed to YouTube. Again, I already know what this is like from. Uh, in a in a small manner from being a small channel, okay? I've had to deal with this shit. I can't even imagine what it would be like, what the conclusion would be like, okay? And I wanna be clear, this happens, like I talk about politics, okay? So there's more people who are gonna get mad at me on average um, because I talk about political issues. So there's a lot of people who are very angry and who, who believe that like, uh, every YouTuber is like an intrinsic part of whatever political war that they're involved in, okay? Um, but, uh, you know, so, so that's in mind. But even in the most mundane audience, uh, there is inevitably going to be some people who are hyper parasocially attached, who are incapable of maintaining boundaries, who are not healthy, who are dangerously obsessed in one way or another, and like haters. Um, there are belligerent fans that could that could go after somebody else. It's terrifying, okay? And I just want people to think about that. It doesn't, you know, a lot of viewers don't ever think about it because it's not something that a lot of viewers have to really think about. Most people who watch streams don't ever even have to show a chat name in chat. They are watching quietly and privately in their house. Their privacy is essentially guaranteed. There is nothing that you have to think about with regard to this. But those of us who put our face out here on these platforms, this is something we really have to grapple with and it's becoming an increasing problem. Um, these incidents of doxing and of course what's even worse is the explicit stalking and of course swatting um these incidents are increasing in frequency um and they they can be devastating and sometimes even deadly swatting is incredibly dangerous okay it's it, it's a it is it is an attempt on someone's life because a lot can go wrong when a swat team bursts into your house it can kill like it can result in you receiving physical injuries. It can result in you being killed by accident. It can result in your pets being killed. And this is again, I know that some people are gonna think that this feels fairly obvious to say, but it's something that I want viewers to recognize and, and also that I hope that it will carry up to YouTube and that YouTube will recognize that this is unacceptable, that um, doxing someone in this way is completely and utterly unacceptable, that it is, uh, um, I, I can't imagine, like, I can't imagine if I was in Jack's film's position that I would stay in the same house. Um, I, 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 I would probably move. Um, which comes with its own challenges, because of course, once people know where you live, they can find out even more information about you. Um, it's a really, really difficult thing. That is a, it's a real, and you can't, you can't put, it's like you can't put it back in the bag, you know what I mean? Uh, once it's out, there's no going back. You will have to deal with this for a very, very long time. And keep in mind that YouTubers don't have the type of power and money that like a A-list celebrity would have. You know, if you think about like the most famous actors in the world who are multi-millionaires and can hire like a full-time security detail or something like that to deal with crazy paparazzi or crazy fans or whatever, but YouTubers don't make that kind of money. Even the most successful YouTuber isn't as even isn't even close to as rich as um, as like like a traditional Hollywood celebrity. There might be a few. So, uh, here's to hoping that YouTube will take action. Um, and will recognize that what Sniper Wolf did was wrong. Um, my sympathies go to Jack's films. 
I cannot imagine how difficult it would be to deal with that. Um, it sounds really, really hard. Um, oh my God. Oh, he, oh, okay. He just released a video. Uh, apparently he released a video about this. Let's watch his video real quick. We'll do a quick, we'll do a quick react. This is, this is Jax Films personal statement on the doxing. Let's hear what Jax Films has to say for himself to wrap this off. This is Jax Films. And of course you guys know his channel. <laughs> and of course, as always, imps raid with love. Sniper Wolf, a massive YouTuber, showed up outside of our home recorded a video oh yeah here you go this is there's there's the proof of it right there there's this is the this is the part that i saw should i go visit jack's films he lives about five minutes away from my shoot oh my god even put it as a vote that's pathetic video of our home and then posted it to our 5.6 million instagram followers goading me with the line let's talk like adults in my 17 There's years the link on to the YouTube, video. I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. In this exact moment, she turned from a mere content thief to someone who doxes and stalks her critics. To everyone that's reached out to us, thank you. We're fine. We're just a little shaken up. But mainly, we feel violated. We no longer feel safe in our own home because we're- Yep, that's exactly what I was talking about. That is that is exactly what I was just talking about. The fact that you know that there is um, somewhere between not just your own audience, but the audience of somebody who doesn't like you, whose fans have been primed to not like you, that all of those, that all of those people now know exactly where you are located most of the time is a very unsettling and disturbing feeling. It's, it's a psychologically just like devastating knowledge. Dealing with someone who genuinely thinks they're in the right for A, stalking me, and B, posting our home to her massive audience. What a disgusting abuse of clout that is. This is irresponsible at best and flat out dangerous at worst. YouTube needs to step in and take action. If this goes unpunished, then it sets a terrifying precedent that you can dox and stalk your critics so long as you have a big YouTube audience. If she truly wanted to talk with me, she could have done so through many other means. But there's one thing you don't do. You do not show up at someone's house. That's simply a line you do not cross. There is zero justification for this. She claims in her story that I've been harassing her. No, Sniper Wolf, I've not been harassing you. At all. In my videos on Judge Jack's films, I've been critiquing her non-transformative commentary, I point out cases of content theft and freebooting, and I credit the creators she steals from. I've been critical of her content, but that does not equate to harassment. What is harassment is coming to our home sharing it for millions to see, and taunting me to come out. YouTube needs to take swift action and ban her from the platform ASAP. And the same goes for Instagram. Speaking of, Sniper Wolf is already making light of the situation, as if- We show up to your house, what you do? Wow, that is pathetic. Legitimately pathetic. If stalking someone is a quirky thing to do, no one should feel unsafe in their own home. And thanks to Sniper Wolf, my wife and I now do. So YouTube, please do the right thing and get her off the platform. Anyone who weaponizes their fan base like she did does not deserve a space here. Damn, that is uh, pretty, pretty straightforward, right? This has gotten covered by a lot of people. Um, obviously, most of the biggest YouTube channels that I've seen uh, have covered this. Um, uh, Ludwig covered this, Charlie covered this, um, and of course, <laughs> yours truly. But I just wanted to make my, a statement for my own 
uh, uh, audience and my own position because um, I think a lot of people underestimate um, just how horrible this type of thing really is, how much it, it, it literally ruins the atmosphere of content creation. Um, it makes it impossible for people to be able to do their, to like live their lives and do their jobs. Um, it makes everything worse for everyone just because someone wants to get vengeance on someone who criticized them. Yeah, I'm seeing there's a lot of, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, uh, big content creators in the comments, in the comments here. Oh my goodness. From all over, from basically every corner of, of YouTube. goodness anyway that's what i wanted to say on this particular issue uh, i wanted to share a little bit of my own much less intense experience um to my audience and i want to encourage my audience to have an empathetic eye as to why this would be so upsetting and also why it's so wrong and of course uh i'm hoping to to uh be able to give my voice uh for what it's worth even though i'm just a small channel a lot of small channels make up YouTube. I want to give my voice in the hopes that YouTube will uh, take action because um, this is unacceptable. Um, what Sniper Wolf did is uh, is so out of line. It's so unbelievably out of line and inappropriate um, that it genuinely degrades the entire platform. It makes everyone who creates and participates on YouTube less safe by basically saying that you can get away with this without repercussions. Here is YouTube being completely t tone deaf right now. Oh my God, for real? Would it be too meta to do a reaction video to a reaction video? Oh. Oh, man. I want to hope that that's oblivious, but I cannot imagine that it is. I can't imagine that whoever tweeted this literally today isn't aware that two of the largest creators on their platform are currently involved in uh uh in in doxing in in not just not just doxing allegations there is proof of the doxing public proof of the doxing that is pathetic from youtube would it be too meta to do a reaction video to a reaction video haha <laughs> tee actually it already happens anyway that's that's our joke that YouTube, first of all, poor taste, tone deaf as hell. But secondly, that's our joke. Streamers have already made jokes about that. We already did. I have an entire bit on react section. Who has the, who has the demon mama clip where it's, where it's, uh, m me, a tiny version of me all the way down at the bottom being reacted to by one DGG or being reacted to by another DGG or being reacted to by a third DGG or being reacted to by m then being reacted to in the end by me. Who has that video? Somebody does. It's somewhere on the Discord. I know it is. Here's the clip. Excellent. Perfect. Here we go. This is it. Ready? Are you ready? You guys ready for some classic Listen. Demon Mama? Here you go. This right here, the screen that you are witnessing, is a representation of Twitch. Okay? Look. It is my original video, irrelevant reacting to it. It is no comment chick reacting to our relevant reacting to me. Then Cherry is reacting to no comment chick. Then I was reacting to Cherry. And then Irrelevant was reacting to Cherry. And now I am reacting to all of it. But do you want to know who the brackets are? Who are the brackets? Me. I am the beginning, the middle, and the end of this entire thing. I started it with my original fucking content. 
and I finish it with my original content. Are there too many demon mamas because on stream? Fuck it. <laughs> True as it's ever been. True as it's ever been. Thank you, by the way, for finding that. Anyway, that's about all I have to say here. Um, my extremely passionate uh, and growing community uh, stands against this type of behavior, and we call upon YouTube to do the right thing and uh, refuse to enable sn Sniper Wolf's behavior any further. Uh, I think we can all agree that it is completely unacceptable uh, to respond to criticism um, uh, with uh, doxing. It is unacceptable, especially especially in the way that it unfolded here. So um, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and, of course, giving some love over to Jack's Films. Of course, Jack's Films has plenty of, of people, so uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of negativity right now. So if you interact with this, please consider sending positivity to Jack's Films. And uh, if you have your own thoughts on this, I would love to hear what your thoughts are or experiences with this down in the comments below. Uh, thanks for tuning in and keep listening for The Signal.